I'm Uwe George from MFB and we are at Frankfurt Music Fair 2030. So, uh, so welcome to uh, look at our new product. This is our first, it's the Dominion Burn. This is the follower of our synthesizer expanded Dominion X. Yeah. We have to, uh, Dominion Born has the same structure like Dominion X, but some, we add some feature like the free octave keyboard with the velocity after touch. Oh, cool. We have also two ribbon controls, really easy assignable here. As well, we added a, a third envelope. As well, we have 12 filter variation instead of six filter variation, and uh, this filter is a the next step from the SAD filter to make all the stages possible and sounds very, very smooth and powerful. With the oscillators, we have the same section three oscillators. Everything can modulate each other. We have two LFOs, we have a double FM frequency modulation section. The trick with this FM modulation is the FM is, uh, uh, is, uh, can be triggered or can be controlled by envelope or LFO as well. So we have a dynamic FM control. Yeah, at least we added an analog ring modulator, also accessible by the huge uh, patch field here. Beside the two digital Ring metal we added this analog green metal later. We, we can add it here in the mixer section. Lots so, and lots of routing and modulation. A lot of feature, yeah, a lot of modulation as well. So the oscillators go into low frequency mode? Yes, for sure. But, uh, what, we can, uh, what we can see is uh, as well uh, an apertator in this section and a sequencer section. So, sequencers like, uh, like the Roland. SSH101, uh, but we added dynamic uh, function as well. You can record for each step velocity, after touch, glide, and ribbon control. Yeah, about something about it. As well, we can store the sequencer. We can we can record a sequence and and uh, have a clock trigger from a uh, other synthesizer or other drum machine or or uh, Ableton or Cubase, whatever, and we press play, and next next measure, the sequence automatically starts. Um, the design of uh, the Minion 1, now we have a prototype, you see this here, is not finished now. We will change some, uh, some, yeah, some, some parts of the design. It will be more in the, in the dark gray and, and the light gray, and yeah, we, will, uh, we hope we will finish uh, next month. Okay. So, Do you have a price in mind yet? Yeah, we have a price in mind. It's about 1,400. Wow, that but, seems really reasonable. But yeah. Also, the, the hardware is very valuable, so it's, it's the next step, I would say. It's very smooth, everything. As well, the gliders are uh, 17 millimeter. You say millimeter in England? Yeah, yeah. Millimeter gliders here, a lot small one. It's really, really easy to find a, the right uh, point of envelope here. Yeah, this is uh, to say for Dominion Bone. Or is it possible to address the oscillators? Uh, it's, it's pure mono, but the oscillators can be controlled each uh, different each other. Maybe we also implement a mode you can play free oscillator separate, but it's just an on work. So like the maybe you know app Odyssey, yeah. you can play two uh, two uh, notes yeah. that they go through one filter. Maybe we think about have to, to play the free notes. Oh, so go great. through one filter. Uh, I like this uh, the app Odyssey. So, okay, I think this is uh, about Dominion Run. Next uh, new instrument is the MFB Tanzbeer. 
I think I will we'll have a, we have a start. This is their. It's playing. No, now it's playing. This is their follower of the, our successful Tamkuhuda MFB 5 day 2 This is a kind of 808. Yeah. For poor people. Someone's got to do it, right? Yes. Yeah. And this is the follower, but offers us up to 16 instruments. Two of the 16 instruments are. Uh, our uh, um, small synthesizer voices to program the two civil gate channels here to have an opinion about what, what happens. So now to the instrument. The, the 14 analog percussion instrument are accessible via these uh, ports. Everything is very easy to change. Like this is the, this is one example. This is the kick of the 5T2. But we added a second kick from the 503. I, I don't have to program here now, I have to program it first. So we have snare drum. So I show how to program the snare drum. Now we have a snare drum sound. Yeah, it sounds very authentic. Yeah. It's a, again, 808 kind of sound. Then we have a, next we have a rim shot, like here. Uh, uh, how are, the, how are the symbols difficult to do as well? Yeah, symbols are also diff different. And the tune of the symbols are independent from the tune of the hi-hats. Next is Harriet. Then maybe we have a tom or a conger. So, and we have a also Maracas. Great. Is it possible to um, and a cowbell as well? Is it possible to sequence more than just the triggers? This is this is the next point. Now I go outside of the record mode. We can change shuffle, step rise. You will hear. Yeah. But shuffle is also accessible for each instrument separate. Ah. Uh, this is for in, in the common mode, but we can do it each for each instrument as well. The step length. We can do it individual for each. Instrument have another step length. That means we can uh, we can make uh, or produce a polyrhythm uh, structure. And you you mentioned it before. Every parameter is uh, recordable. Uh, that means it's a, it's a very musical thing. You can record every every uh, parameter of this uh, of the sound as well. You can record bendings for the for the kicks for the toms for the snares, so we can uh, uh, produce a synthesizer sound. Like like this, or portamenda sounds as well. So the, the sequencer offers uh, 144 patterns, and 16 of these patterns we can, uh, we can uh, com combine very, very easy with the film motors. So we get out of the, we go into pattern motors, Go into fill. Yeah, this is a so, and then we can select. This is a, another motor. Oh, this is a nice, uh, nice effect here. <laughs> I showed something, nothing but We can combine six of the, the patterns of one bank into one order. So, yeah, it's not only like the fill is one measure up to six measure. We can change it from time to time. As well, we have A and B mode, or we can alternate it, or we can play uh, like this, independent. What's new? We have a dump function. We have. Uh, it's, we got can, it's got MIDI too, so you can yeah, access voices over yes, the MIDI yes. mode, right? Everything is, uh, is controllable, but we have two MIDI ins one for the clock, another for, for an editor, like, a, like an iPad or something else, or MIDI keyboard. 
So we can do later microchip and maybe we can change uh, um, and steps of uh, instrument pattern, whatever. Yeah, what's to, what's to say to the instrument? Some, oh, I think I play the claps. Do the claps. I can change the attacks. I can mute instrument. Yeah, and then I, I think I mentioned at first uh, the two independent C4 uh, gate channels that we can produce very easy MIDI notes or C4 gate notes to control the Minion or other C4 gate synthesizers. Price is 840 euro for this. Ah, oh, I forgot to mention the, the individual art. We have uh, six of sta uh, six stereo individual art, that means uh, 12 single individual art. Yeah, that's the machine. Ah, oh, I forgot this. Now it's a prototype as well. This is the new craft shirt. We add a SED filter here. We add a portamento here. And we add a one shot to the, uh, to the LFO, one shot mode. This is the new uh, craft tag. And for sure, the, the chassis is now more stable. It's the same with the wooden panel, like the USVAC 2 or the transfer. Yeah. Hope you like it. More info you will find here at our website www.mfberlin.de or as well www.facebook.com slash mfberlin like this. Welcome. Thank you.